Hello, my name is Jacob Bustillos, and this video is for the Rexburg Family History Center patrons as a visual help in converting your film into digital format. Now the device that the Family History Center here has will allow you to change media into 35 millimeter, 110, the 110 film, 126 film, 127, 8 millimeter, and Super 8 film. Um, these are like negatives and a few slides and a, depending on what kind of um, film you have, you can actually convert it using these, this device. Now to begin, we're gonna wanna get familiar with the device. This is the device and this is what it looks like. Now this has an LCD screen. It's got your power button and it's got a camera and a home screen. You can actually, com you can actually convert all your film and files off the, this device by itself. But I'm going to show you how you can actually set it up where you can get it to view on the second monitor. The Family History Center has two monitors here in which you can be able to convert and transition from either a USB drive or a memory card, whatever memory card that you have, you can transition for it. Um, and then I can show you how to set up the picture so that you can actually see it on a larger screen on the second on the second monitor. Now right here we have the function keys. Those will allow you to select. Now you're going to one, even though you connect the second monitor up and view the picture on there, you're still going to need to uh, select the features and the on the on the actual device itself. So you're gonna have to get familiar with these with these buttons here. We have the power button, the capture button. This is what captures the image on it. And automatically already with the device is an SD card reader. On the back of the device, we'll, we'll see a later picture on there. But what happens is when you capture the image, it actually captures on the SD card itself. And then from there, there's an actual adapter that will allow you to uh, that has an SD reader and a USB drive in which you can actually uh, transfer those files either to the USB drive or into another SD card if you need to. If you have an SD card and you're just gonna convert it into the SD card, I would just recommend just placing it on the back of the machine itself and then you can just capture and it goes straight to your SD card. So the only reason you would use the adapter is if you have a USB drive or a different, uh, a different card reader that's not an SD card that you'll want to transition to your, your photos from that side. The home button takes you to the home screen. The screen actually tilts up so you can actually adjust it accordingly. Now these are the adapters and inserts. Each one of these is for the different slides on them. So they have numbers located right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and it tells you which side that you want to place it up. And it'll actually tell you as well on what millimeters you have. Like this one's like 1 1.9 to 3 millimeter, that one, and then you have an 8 millimeter, and then the 110 inserts. So depending on what, uh, what your film looks like, you're going to need to adjust accordingly with these adapters. We'll go through these. These adapters, one and two, they actually open up so that you can actually place them in there and secure them nicely um, before you slide it into the device itself. And then right here, this is how you would slide them in. This is, of course, for the smaller film. This is for all the other film. And this right here, is, the, is an important one that you'll want to do. As it'll tell you what, what film type you have and the adapter that you will need and an insert if needed. And then here on the bottom, it shows you the different sizes. So if you need to, you're more than welcome to pause at this or refer to the the text booklet that's right next to the monitor. Now this is an image of the back of the device. 
Now this device right here, this is for the USB for the power. And this device is for the memory card. This port right here, there's an adapter so that you can actually connect that from this small HDMI port and to the HDMI port of the monitor. And like I said, I will show you how to do that here shortly. That way you can view it on the larger screen instead of the smaller one. Now the Kodak mix Stanza machine, I failed to mention is always set up at the front desk. You, always, uh, you will need to check it out and speak to one of the, the, work, the workers here located at the Family History Center to get that checked out in that way. This is so to ensure that none of the parts are missing since there are a lot of little pieces and they're all needed for the different types of film available. So right here, this is where you would take the SD card. And as previously mentioned, if you have an SD card of this size, or maybe not this specific amount of size, but I mean as far as the, the shape and design, you can stick it to the back of the machine and capture your images, and it'll actually go straight to this memory card. The only way that you, the only reason, like again, again, the only reason that you would use the adapter is if you have a USB drive or a different memory card format or memory card reader size that you'll need to transfer to it. Okay, now to get it on the, to display, to get the Kodak scans it to be displaying the film and files on the second monitor. What you're going to need to do is you'll need to go to settings. You'll need to go to system. And right here, you have the display ranges. So what you'll do is you'll need to set this, the display to one device only so that it identifies. That is, and then what that does is that the second monitor, when it's connected with the Scanza machine, it'll automatically detect the HDMI port and it'll bring up your photos and bring up the larger image. And of course, you'll need to come back to this way to, uh, to de detect the screen again so that you can have the dual screen if needed. That's how I originally found it, is that the dual screen was on the left and right and it actually hold, held the whole desktop. But you can actually change the settings if needed so that you can actually view it on, again, view your photos and film on the larger screen. So since I've already done that, I don't need to do that again. So from there, right here is an example of any a picture being taken. What you can do is once you take the picture and screenshot onto the memory card, what you're going to do is if you need to transfer it, I will show you how to do that here. So what's going to happen is you connect the adapter along with the USB and everything you're going to open the file explorer right here and locate the drive that you're going to convert to and the drive that you're going to convert from. Now this is a USB I had already placed in there. And I'm just gonna locate to where I want it saved. When you plug in the SD card and the memory card, right in the bottom right corner, it's gonna actually tell you what it is. So the SD card that I just placed in is in slot E. So because I wanna stay in here, because this is where I'm going to transfer the file to, I will want to do file, open new window, and then put this to the side, and then come along here and look for removable disk E. And then you just click inside the folder, now, you'll, if you know what you would like to name it, you'll need to right click and rename 
or else all the pictures that you've created, they're going to start at IMG 0001, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, et cetera, et cetera. Just open the picture, make sure it's what you wanted. Again, this is the one that I just recently did. And then from here, you can actually edit and rotate it as necessary. Uh, once you're done, you can save it. If that's the file that you like, then you just click and drag it. And there it is. Transition to the new, to the other USB drive. So yeah, I mean, like I said, like as previously mentioned, you can do everything through the Scanza machine if you're okay with the size of the small screen, or you can set up and do the pictures and everything through the monitor. And then if need be, if you're going to transfer to a USB drive or other storage device, you'll need to connect the adapter and then transfer the files over. So.